you're at work, you're doing your thing during the week, you're in class, whatever, and like in the back of your mind, you always knew, fuck, Friday or Saturday night, we're going to have a fucking good time. Why do people listen to this podcast? Fuck, I don't know. (laughs) I think they started out listening to it to try to learn something, and they're like, damn, these are just like my friends back home, fucking drinking beer, talking shit. Thanks for joining us. For those that are keeping track and keeping an eye on the calendar, you'll know that we are rapidly approaching our four-year anniversary. You would think four years into it, we'd know what we're doing, but uh, truth is, we're just seeing how long our sponsors, you guys, will hold out before sending us some new equipment. You know, it's, it's pretty cool when you think you got these six people. I mean, so far, what have we done today? We, we came in, we ate dinner together. Mm-hmm. You're having drinks. It's no different than guys standing around a fly shop talking or standing at the boat ramp or the landing, the put-in, mm-hmm. the takeout, whatever. Two years ago, we decided we wanted to do something that we felt could be impactful for the area where we love to fish. Mm-hmm. Important part about coming to the, especially the thingy before the dinghy, is to see the people that actually work at Marine Discovery Center and the size of Marine Discovery Center and like the fact that this is a difference. So it's nice to know that we're not just right. you know, putting our name next to like some huge state grant that would have been there anyways. We're at there's something actually going somewhere that you can see. I honestly had tears in my eyes listening to Chad talk about how that money was gonna impact their organization. It, it's incredible what happened yeah. I, I, mm-hmm. I couldn't couldn't be more proud of a group of people and that's our listeners it starts as this core group of guys that enjoy spending time with each other and get to hang out and just bs and there happens to be a microphone in the middle of the table we eat good food we drink beer and we have a good time a lot of guys that don't have a community and we're their community And it's a community where even though they're not physically sitting at the old oak table, they feel like they are. Because you get messages on Instagram, you get emails about how during their darkest time, what they've heard on our podcast helped them get through that dark time because they felt like they were part of this group. Yes, it's about fly fishing, but it's not. It's the ability to touch a lot of people in what we hope is a positive way. Are we enamored by, are we proud of, are we thankful for the doors it's opened beyond this double wide trailer? Absolutely. But if everyone stopped listening tomorrow, we would still get together, put meat on the trailer, drink cold beer, go out and fish, try to raise money for Marine Discovery Center. We would do all of that, whether we had one listener or 10,000. And uh, we can still say with pure confidence and utter pride, we still have no sponsors. Other than our listeners. It's actually pretty badass. And we, we, we love you.